गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीवन दिस इज संदीप धैया एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू अ डेमोस्ट्रेशन ऑफ क्लोनिंग वर्चुअल डोमेन कंट्रोलर दिस इज अ न्यू फीचर इन सर्वर 2012 हाइपर वी 3.0 व्हाई दिस फीचर वी आर एबल टू क्लोन अ डोमेन कंट्रोलर why we need to clone a domain controller right so we can have a rapid deployment we can clone a domain controller for, uh, for a private cloud or we can clone a domain controller for recovery purpose right so what exactly we do uh, with this particular cloning thing right so first thing we need to add a particular computer into a default group right that is called clonable domain controller group this is a by default group in server 2012 right so so today uh, we will see the demonstration then we run one uh, xml file to exclude all the application right apart from active directory from that particular machine then we can create one clone configuration file and then we'll export the entire domain controller right and from that particular domain controller we'll create a new domain controller and that domain controller would be the clone domain controller so let's go and uh, see a demo so i'm having the uh, i have this domain controller right uh, the domain controller is loan hyphen dc so if we go and see active directory users in computer from there i get to know about i am having a complete domain controller right so the domain name is adatum.com under that i have a list of all users like sales research marketing managers it development i'm having computers if i click on the computer i can see a list of computer client 1 client 2 client 3 router server 1 server 4 if i go to each ou you can see a list of the users and the groups so it's a full fledged domain controller and so i want to clone this particular domain controller right so for that first you need to click on domain controller uh click add to a group and here type clone click then you'll find out clonable domain controllers so now this domain controller loan hyphen dc1 added to a group that is called clonable domain controller so the next thing which i need to do here i need to clone this domain controller for that i need to open powershell so click on active directory module for windows powershell guys take care about that don't generally open any powershell open active directory module for windows powershell then run a command get hyphen adbc clone exclude application list if i click here here you'll able to see a list of the application those are running in this particular machine so we need to exclude these application for that we need to run the command the same command with hyphen generate xml so if i run this particular command this command will generate one xml file in your ntbs folder right and will put all the name of the application in that xml file so we have to go to c drive windows ntbs then you'll we'll able to see this particular file and when you open this file this file is having the list of all the application
agency that certificates server, DHCP server, IAM server. So these are the list of the application which we need to exclude from the domain controller. So now we need to run a new command to generate the configuration file of the domain controller. So that is new hyphen clone config file if I click here so now I have a new file this is called dc clone config data clone if I click here it shows my domain controller configuration right so do this now close this and run command stop this command will power up this computer now this domain controller is a part part of this host machine so this host machine is having hyper-v install that Hyper-V we have loan hyphen DC1 and we already run that command stop computer so that computer is stopped so this is a virtual machine here you'll able to see we have DC1 and server 1 and, and now I just want to clone this domain controller so select this machine right click export so now select a location where you want to export it so in C drive program files Microsoft learning now this is the machine which I am selecting for cloning my domain controller export here you can see the status of this machine is showing that exporting and you'll able to see the percentage it has exported this machine so it will take few minutes to export this virtual machine into that particular path right now you can see that the exporting succeed here right there is no status status is clear so what you can do here you can simply right click on the host machine right then you have option import virtual machine click here next browse and go to the part where we have exported that virtual machine here you will see this folder right select the folder next now you, you can see here the DC machine listed next now we have a list of the option so we have to select the last option which is called copy the virtual machine and this time it will copy this machine and create a new unique ID for this machine because we have to clone it so we have to create a new machine from this particular exported next so well 
ask you the path. So click here. And specify the same path. Now we are cloning this domain controller and we are storing onto the same path. Finish. This process also will take few minutes. After that, because from that exported data now Hyper-V is creating a new machine with unique ID and uh, then simply what we need to do we need to change the name of that machine and we can store that machine if anything happened to uh, the virtual domain controller then you have the clone of the domain controller with you in VMware it is very easy to do that but if I want to do the same thing in Hyper-V it was not that easy right but now Microsoft made it very easy for us here you'll able to see if I click on this machine so this machine showing me a date which is 23rd and if I click on this machine this machine is showing me a date which is 11 1 2013 which has been so this is the machine which I have cloned right click rename change DC1 clone now simply select this machine start this clone is turned on and we have a complete copy of domain controller with all the settings it has a unique ID so it will not conflict with the real domain controller so guys this is the way how you can clone your domain controller. Thank you for watching this video. See you next time. If you have any feedback, any suggestion, please write me on my email id dev.daya at gmail.com. Thank you.